Being dumped? That sucks. Having to continue seeing that person every day? Not helpful. Watching them casually flirt right in front of you? I want my money back! Nola was all I ever wanted in a girlfriend. She was beautiful, talented, cool, and independent. Very independent. And the breakup was completely destroying my psyche. I hated myself. More than that, I hated how fucking naive I was. It became clear to me after the fact that she was way out of my league to begin with. First, I should do a little retcon here. When we broke up, I jumped the gun a bit. I said, that when I asked why she was breaking up with me, that she felt stagnant. What she actually said was, I don't know. And stuck with that story, I don't know. That's what was killing me. It wasn't losing her, per se. It was finding this wonderful girl in college, and then it all ending, without knowing why, very abruptly, it was traumatizing. And you know, it really took a toll on me. I cried some nights. I lost weight. I started getting spells of lightheadedness and feeling emotionally void. Now, all I wanted was an answer. A little something to help me cope, you know? Like how people in prison turn to God. So I went to my friends, you know, for reassurance, as you do after something like this, and uh, see what they thought, and they were like, oh, it's another man. Yeah, obviously. Okay, I'll ask classmates, they know the two of us, and they were like, uh, oh, do you think it's another man? Yeah, oh, totally. Def yeah, it's, an it's someone else. Yeah, uh, really put me at ease. Thanks a lot. Fuck you. But I have this one friend, I think we all have this person in our lives, that member of the opposite sex that we're really close to, we can go to to confide in, get some advice. Mine was my friend Joe, who was studying psychology, which I figured would be pretty helpful in a situation like this. So I lay it all out, explain the situation to her, and she goes, uh, oh yeah, no, there's another man. Which is a flawless impression of her. And I'm like, uh, very helpful, Joe. Thank you. That, that really puts me at ease. But okay, look, I see her every day. I need advice going forward. This is killing me. And she's like, well, Okay, like, would you ever want to get back together with her? And I said, no, I would not want her back. Obviously, she doesn't like me anymore. If we did date again, we'd just break up for the same reasons or whatever. So no, I would not want her back, which was the first smart thing that went through my head on the matter. At least I knew that. So she says, well, then you need some kind of closure because we study this stuff in school. And when something like this happens, like not knowing, it is the worst thing for you. Seriously, like it will literally make you kill yourself. And I think, yeah, you're going to make a great psychologist. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, closure. That's what I need. I need some closure. So I bump into Nola in the hallway, and she's just like, Oh, you uh, took the red patch out of your hair. And I say, Well, you know, it reminded me of someone. Which is true, because I kind of dyed my hair to impress her. But, you know, now I can just go back to coloring my hair in black, which is way easier, so that's great. And I say, look, we need to talk. And she agreed, uh, uh, oddly enough, because she totally could have just been like, No, <laughs> we don't. Uh, so we went for a walk, and I asked her what I did. Or didn't do? Uh, was it something I said? Was it my hobbies? My direction in life or lack thereof? How could it change so abruptly? Was I really that unlikable? Was I so easily discarded? Joe was right. This was killing me. So I press her and she's like, look, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want from me? And I said, I want an answer. A real one. Why? And that's when she said that she felt stagnant. Uh, which is also when I realized that I must just suck. And then she says, why don't we just go back to the way it was before we dated? Which is right up there with, it's not you, it's me, on the list of retarded shit someone says when they dump you. And I say, there was no before we dated. We met, we flirted, we started going out. We never had a friendship. And so we went back to not having a friendship. So that week I had lunch with Cheesecake. He'd been coming to school less and less, it was just me and him. And I ended up rambling while he ate, saying like, well, I guess I should have known it wouldn't work out. And, you know, she never really seemed that interested in me as much as her art, which I, you know, I, I admire in a way. And honestly, I feel like she hid our relationship. Like deep down, she was ashamed of it. And right then he looks at me and he says, I didn't even know you were dating. And that lunch was the last time I ever saw him. Not having closure eats you apart. It makes you question yourself. Am I broken? Am I undesirable? Am I worth being with at all? You become consumed with it, finding this answer. You want it so bad, but you don't get one. The only answer is how you cope with not getting one.